I'm Peter Bellistrieri. I'm a curator in Special Collections at the University of Iowa Main Library, and I'm one of the curators of Sackner Archive, an exhibit of work from the Ruth and Marvin Sackner Archive of Concrete and Visual Poetry. I'd like to talk to you about the work of Hannah Darboven, one of the artists in the exhibit. Hannah Darboven was a young art student in Germany in the early 60s. She came to New York and spent two years studying and working and then returned to Germany to live in her parents' house, the house she grew up in for the rest of her life. Her work is primarily concerned with explorations of time and space and she did this through the creation of her own language, uh, both mathematical and visual, and used it to express her ideas and her concepts, particularly of the passage of time. So what we see in this particular work and throughout this book are diagrams and grids, grids being one of Darboven's favorite visual devices. And the grids are filled with numbers that represent this invented number system that she created. The words correspond to some of the invented uh, language elements that she used. The whole, when looked at, is visually interesting, uh, but fairly impenetrable. And this corresponds with the ideas of concrete poetry and visual poetry that exemplify the concept that language is not transparent, words are not windows that we look through to see meaning on the other side, but are more solid, more concrete, if you will, than that, and move meaning around in their own ways and in ways that may not always convey the intentions of the artist, the speaker, the author, etc. As a curator, I'm fascinated by the visual artists, visual poets, and concrete poets who have created their own languages to express themselves. Uh, Darboven is at the forefront of those when people create their own language or their own alphabet, their own writing systems, this is described as a scenic writing. And we see a, a, a fine example of that with Darboven's work. She has been consumed throughout her entire uh, career with the expression and the use of these invented both mathematical systems and writing systems to convey very philosophical ideas that are somehow also very personal to her. And that's one of the things that I admire the most about Darboven and about the other artists that work in a similar style. Thanks for joining me today. And please, you can make an appointment to come and see this exhibit. And I encourage you to do so. It's enlightening and it's also a lot of fun. Thank you.